In this lesson, we'll review a sentence completion problem. It's part of the critical reading section. We're on page 425, question 6 out of 6. This is a difficult problem because of OCAP. Professor Williams disdained tradition. She regularly attacked cherished beliefs and opinions, earning a reputation as blank. So we want to look for the keywords and then predict the answer before we look at the choices. She hated or disdain tradition, strong dislike. Another word you see on the test a lot for that is contempt tradition. So she strongly disliked tradition. And then we have further confirmation of that dislike. She regularly attacked cherished beliefs and opinions, earning her reputation as blank. So we know dislike tradition and she went against the grain, sort of attacking or reviling these treasured traditions or beliefs. So what type of reputation? And you could try to predict that it's some type of word a reputation as a, let's say, counter-establishment. <laughs> All right, you're not going to see counter-establishment as a choice, but it'll help you predict we want a person who goes against the grain. All right, let's take a look at the choices and build vocab. Egalitarian. Couldn't be further from the right choice. This is a good word. Egalitarian promotes equality, fairness. Another word that's similar to that is equitable, and it is definitely not the choice. We went in a counter-establishment. Dowager is a really peculiar term, and I should just bring this up. Most of the, the choices you see on the sentence completions, the they are all adjectives almost because they're very descriptive. But here, these are all nouns, and they have to be parallel to parts of speech and the answer choices. This is really just a very specific noun for counter-establishment, but this is sort of just a kind of a strange red herring, a dowager, it really means an elderly woman, a widow, who holds property or dower from her late husband. So it's usually an old elderly woman who has some means because she's inherited this property from her husband. And it's interesting because I've also uh, come across in medical terms, there's a term called a dowager's hump, and that's the, the curvature of the upper spine. So a lot of elderly women not necessarily widows, but they, they sort of the spine, I think from osteoporosis starts to, to curve. That's called a dowager's hump, but this is sort of an elderly widow with means. <laughs> Obviously not the choice here. Dilettante, person who sort of has a superficial interest in many different fields without any depth, without um, profundity. Someone who dabbles, definitely not the choice. We'll call it a dabbler. Now we're down to the last two. I'll jump to E, a purveyor is a person who sells or deals in specific goods. So it could be a purveyor, purveyor of fine china, for example. Definitely not the choice. The answer is D, iconoclast. And this is a great word. I'm not promoting sort of tearing down the establishment, but it, it means to sort of to go against the grain. And that's how, that's how if you think about it, change comes about to tear down or, or to protest the establishment. And incidentally, I think this is a great name for a, for a rock band. And, and sure enough, there's a band, I think, out of Canada called Iconoclast. But it means tearing down the establishment to attack sort of beloved ideas. I'm not promoting anarchy here. But um, it's a great word, Iconoclast, and that's the choice. All right, D, see you next time. Thanks for watching.